Hey guys, it's Ange. Welcome back to the channel. Today I popped over to my local library and I picked up a couple of great finds. So I'm excited to share with you what I found today. So stick around. So if you are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I'm a huge personal development junkie, as I like to say, and I'm always at the library seeing what they got. So I picked up three books this week. This is the first one, How to Stress Less, Simple Ways to Stop Worrying and Take Control of Your Future, and that's by Benjamin Benetti. So what kind of caught my eye here was that it is very laid out into steps, understanding and reasoning, overcoming and educating, prevention and optimization, dividing stress and reality, reestablishing a normal life, creating a lasting rhythm and stress-free living. So I thought that was cool. And then it looks like there's a lot of really hands-on activities in worksheets and questionnaires throughout the book. And that's something that is really my style. So I'm excited to see what kind of knowledge tidbits I can pick up from this one and share with you guys. So that's the first one I grabbed. Next, I've got this one, which caught my attention. I don't know what it is about yellow books, but they really seem to grab my eye. And this one's called Make Time, How to Focus on What Matters Every Day by Jake Knapp and John Zeratsky. So I, again, really liked the layout of this book and how it looked on the inside. There's lots of pictures and worksheets and graphs. So I find those books much easier to read. They're engaging. I like the black pages in here. And what I thought was really cool about this one, again, it seems very, very structured. Let me try to find the menu. So it goes through different areas, um, talks about highlight, for example, and then there's all kinds of tactics to achieve that particular thing. The next one is a laser, and then you've got laser tactics, etc. A whole bunch of different ideas and to-dos and tasks. And then it goes on about energizing tactics, so increasing your energy, I would imagine. And then into some reflection and start someday today. And then again, it looks like there's all kinds of sample agendas and a quick start guide, suggested reading for further information. So I'm excited to see what this one will offer because I love time management and time management tools. So just for an example here, we've got stay in the zone. So it's gonna talk about make a random question list, notice one breath, be bored, be stuck, take a day off and go all in. So that's really cool. It looks like the book follows along with the numbered activities, just going through different categories. So this is the one before is find flow and that's all part of laser tactics. So I really like how this one is laid out. If you want me to get into this one, first and give you my review, then let me know in the comments which of these three books that you're most interested in. The last book I grabbed today was recommended to me by a new friend. Uh, her name is Barbara and she's super sweet and helpful and she's kind of like a real life budgeting <clears throat> friend of mine that I've acquired. Um, she's done some amazing things in her own personal life with finance and she highly recommended this book which is Smart Money, Smart Kids, Raising the Next Generation to Win with Money. And it's by Dave Ramsey and his daughter, Rachel Cruz. And the reason she recommended this to me is because this year, one of my huge goals, if you've watched some of my goal videos, um, is to reduce my debt significantly this year. And when we were talking about my why or my reason for wanting to budget better and get better control of my finances, it's because I don't want my daughter to grow up with the same poor money habits that I have adopted throughout my life. So she said that this was the book that changed her perspective on things and her motivation was very, very similar. She wanted to set a better example for her children. So I'm excited to get into this one. It's a little bit out of my realm. I'm not usually reading too many finance books, but I'm excited to challenge myself. So again, let me know of these three books here which one are you most interested in me doing a review on first and kind of a summary of the tips and things that I learned? Let me know in the comments and that will for sure be the first one I get into. It does not take me very long to read books, so I'm probably gonna get through 
one a week or so, so expect a few reviews in the upcoming weeks. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those. Thanks for watching today and we will talk soon.